Magura Boltron. With increased mass and speed, modern e-mountain bikes are closing the gap to motocross motorcycles. For the development of a special suspension fork for e-mountain bikes, Magura decided to work together with the suspension experts from WP, who are renowned for their upside-down technology from the world of motocross. The advantage of the upside-down concept is the constant lubrication of the fork slaughters and the extremely fine feedback on the trail. The Boltron can accommodate two different wheel dimensions. Option one would be a 29-inch wheel with a maximum width of 2.4 inches, and the second option is a 650B plus with up to three inches tire width. The fork is available with 120 or 150 millimeter of suspension travel. The massive 40 millimeter stanchions offer excellent rigidity, especially during braking. The 20 millimeter axle ensures a stable connection with the wheel hub. The fork features floating bushings to guide the inner and the outer tubes. When the fork is compressed, the upper and lower bushings separate and increase the overlap. The result is improved torsional and brake rigidity within the fork. The fork settings can be simply modified to suit the rider weight through adjustment of the air spring rate and the adjustable rebound damping. The air spring setting is found in the left fork tube. The oil dampening in the right fork tube. On the bottom of the fork tube is a rebound dampening adjustment which controls the rebound speed of the fork. To begin with the wheel removal, the magnetic T25 Torx driver should be removed from the mounting point in the dropout. The axle clamp should be loosened with the Torx driver and then the axle retaining bolt unscrewed. To remove the axle, this should be withdrawn together with the axle retaining bolt in the direction of the rebound dampening adjuster. When removing the axle, a light force against the lower fork leg can help to prevent the axle jamming during removal. When the axle has been removed, the wheel can be taken out from below the fork. To reinstall the wheel, please align the fork dropouts and check that the brake disc is inserted correctly into the brake caliper. From the rebound damping side of the fork, the axle should be installed and pushed into position until it reaches a noticeable stop. Again, here a light force applied at the bottom of the fork leg can help to prevent the axle jamming during installment. When tightening the screws, the approved torque settings should be applied. The axle retaining bolt with 3nm and the axle clamp bolts with 10nm. The brake line should be rooted in the protector guide and fixed with zip ties so that during operation there is no possibility of any contact with the brake disc. When fixing the line at the upper end, the attention should be placed on the free movement so that the brake line remains flexible when the fork extends or contracts. To match the rider weight, the air pressure can be increased or decreased to suit. Sit on the bike and regulate the pressure accordingly so that the O-ring on the indicator situated on the protector shows 20 to 30% sag. The rebound speed of the Boltron can be adjusted with a total of 22 clicks. An increased rebound compression setting will slow the fork rebound properties and a decrease setting will speed the rebound properties. For a base setting, use the 11 clicks position. Then, when riding on the trail, the fork rebound can be individually set to match your personal requirements.